in previous video we had learned a little bit about the implicit function and how to differentiate it uh, and we had learned few concept you know how to find out the uh, how to find out the derivative of any this kind of mixed type of function you know and uh, what is implicit differentiation we we did a little bit there you know and now let's uh, again let's solve this you know question is saying find dy by dx means find the uh, find the derivative of y with respect to x means here you know we we need to find out the dy by the dx by anyhow you know and what I told you first just just write whatever the equation you have got this implicit type of the equation let me first write this is x square plus y square equals to 16 I got this right and now what question is saying uh, we need to find out du by dx and in last time what we had learned just differentiate your equation both side in LHS side as well as in RHS side by x so what do I have to say now here? Like differentiating both sides with respect to x. Now we'll be getting like d by dx of x square plus y square. I did this side and same thing d by dx of 16. All right. Now see here, uh, actually, you know, this is x square and this is y square. So I'm just uh, using some rules. So dx square over the dx. And here, what I'm getting, dy square of dx, and everybody know derivative of a constant quantity is zero. And my brother and sister, my dear fellow, see here, x and x is matching, and x and y is not matching. So we don't have any first in the first part. We don't have any problem because x and x is matching, so it will be just two x. And here, since it is not matching, you know what we have to do? Derivative of y square with respect to y. Again times derivative of y with respect to x equals to 0. Now see if you look here, this y and y is matching. And since this y is a little bit different function than the x, not little, it is, right? So again we need to differentiate it. So what we get here now, 2x plus now derivative of y square with respect to y, that is 2y times dy over the dx equals 0. And now what we have to do now? Yes, we need to this 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 part we need to take in the right uh, in the right side. So what I'll get? I'll get 2y times dy over the dx equals to minus 2x. And in final stage, what I can write dy over dx is going to be minus 2x. And since this 2y, you know, uh, this 2y is actually actually this 2y is multiplying this dy by dx. So now it will divide here, right? Just below 2x it will be. So it will be 2y. And my dear fellow, see here, this 2 and 2 will cancel out. You know, this, this 2 will cancel out. And what I'll get? I'll get minus x by y. So this is my dy by dx. So finally, as the question was saying, we need to find out the dy by dx of this. And we get it, right? And this is our dy by dx equals to minus x over y and sir that's it right i hope you understand how to uh, differentiate this kind of implicit function nothing you have to do just differentiate both sides with respect to x left hand side as well as right hand side and after that what you have to do go right if uh, like base is matching see here i mean here and here it is matching here it is not matching so what you have to do again by what it is going to match like why is y squares it is right so i will differentiate the y square with respect to y only and since y is a different function again i need to differentiate with respect to x that's it and i find out and i just proceed and finally as i said you have to write just in one side in your left side you have to just write dy by dx if there are a lot of dy by dx then you need to collect all those dy by dx in your right hand side sorry in your left hand side as well as right hand side whatever you want to put but just put in one side so collect all those dy by dx from your equation here fortunately we have just one so collect those all take the common and rest of these you just kick them into the another side right hand side all right and just put dy over the dx in one side and you'll get the answer all right i hope you understand this and uh, we'll be doing a couple of more problem uh, i just want to do you know a huge number of problem not couple of i will be doing 10 and 20 i don't know how much that will really give you a good idea okay so we'll meet in the next video bye